right now, the average girl does not know how to A, care about a man, B, keep a man, and C, get the man that she wants to like her back. That's just like the average chick, right? Um, these are things that are typically taught by a married person. Their, their mother would be teaching that to them, right, in a non-divorced culture. But everything in America is so fucked up and so upside down that these chicks don't know how to get a man, keep a man, and be a good woman, right, to the man, right, to have like a, like a good, like harmonious relationship. So what they do is they get engaged in hookup culture. And then they lead with their pussy, right? That, that's the equivalent of a man leading with a wallet is a woman leading with her pussy. She leads with her pussy. She gives the pussy up front. She brings no other skills to the table. The guy thinks like, damn, okay, this bitch is only good for her fucking pussy. But every other girl is just bringing their pussy to the table. So I'm just going to fuck her and dip out because I have options. Because if, if she's as sexually interested in that guy, there are other women, there are other women that are interested in that guy as well. So and you have accepted <clears throat> the truth. Guys with options are going to choose the girl that brings the most. Like for me, okay. For me, my hierarchy of girls is very simple, okay? If you bring pussy to the table and that's the only thing you bring to the table, I'm going to look no. I'm like, okay, this bitch is a loser, okay? Uh, number two, if a girl helps me in my life, okay? Because I don't cook, I don't clean, I don't do laundry, I don't do none of that shit when I have a girlfriend. I'm too busy building my business, studying, learning new skills, and making myself the best version that I can be. And that's like legitimately what I'm doing, right? That's what you guys should be doing out there as well. I don't have time to fucking cook and and like iron my clothes and shit like that. What the fuck? That's shit. That's like that's what the women in my life are for, right? So for a woman to maintain the high value guy that she wants, she needs to bring more to the table other than her. Quite frankly, the majority of the girls, other than her fucking used up pussy that she's already given to like 40, 50 dudes before him. She's got to do way more, but these girls don't get it. So what they do is they go out there, they fucking, they don't know how to do anything but get fucked, and then they have an entitlement because culture is telling them like, oh, you're perfect, you're like amazing, you know, women power, men are shit, like you're just awesome for being a woman, and that guy's like lucky to have you, and you have like these dumb dipshit dudes like we just saw on Instagram that are literally like saying like, I'm a lucky guy. That guy says he's a lucky guy for being with a used up 29 year old fucking mentally diseased fucking like legitimate former slut if assuming she's not cheating on him now and quite frankly that instagram doesn't look like she's in a relationship that looks like she's still on the market to me anyways so they get out there they get pumped and dumped by all the guys they want they're not because their moms are divorcing their husbands you know statistically speaking there's a 50 percent chance that they're coming from a divorced household and that number is growing, right? Um, there's a statistical chance that she's coming from a divorced household. So her mother's legacy is failure as a woman because she couldn't keep the family together. Okay. American women are the, win are the ones who are destroying families the most. Of all women on the planet, American women are leading the charge in divorce and destroying families. And then these chicks are looking up to their mom and, and you know, whatever the relationship, okay, uh, between the mother and father is in the household, the children are going to look at that and nine times out of 10, they're going to reciprocate, they're going to replicate it, okay? So people typically who come from a good married, married household, they're going to want to be in a good married household. If they come from a divorced household, they're going to like, they're going to inevitably just break it up because their, their brain, they've been taught as they raised like, oh, this is how a relationship is like dysfunctional and doesn't work, okay? So you have these chicks, don't know how to keep a man, don't know how to be feminine. Don't know how to like. Don't. They're too entitled, so they like have too much ego to actually fucking sit down and serve a dude, take care of him, help. Just fucking help us out. That's all we do as men. We just want a little bit of help. We literally do everything. Okay. Majority of guys in relationships net ROI negative. Okay. That being said, you have this culture of all these chicks just getting out there, getting pumped and dumped, and then getting fucking jaded. And then they're like, well, you know what, fuck it, I, I'll just choose Instagram. And they're like, they're like people who are addicted to gambling, and they're losing all their money in the casino, but they're just like, keep putting their coins in, like, no, no, this time I'm going to win. 
this time I'm going to win. But instead of putting, instead of pulling the fucking slots down, they're just taking a dick and shoving it inside. I'm like, oh, okay, no, Tyrone didn't work. Okay, let's do it. Uh, no, Chad didn't work. Okay, fucking, okay, let's, Steve from accounting. Nope, it didn't work. Uh, let's see, fuck, let's try Dave and fucking engineering. Nope, that didn't work. All right, let's try this fucking NBA superstar. Like, I'm a used up chick, and I, I bring nothing to the table, but my pussy, I'm pretty sure this NBA superstar is going to want to, like, wife me up and be a good guy with me. Let's see, no, oh, uh, fuck no. Next thing you know, every dick you take, every dick a chick takes, like, chips away at her mental stability. Okay, it chips away at her and it makes her a more damaged person. These chicks have to go through extreme amounts of therapy and fucking recovery to to like rehabilitate them from all the fucking dicks they take. Right. And then there's science behind this is like, dude, there's, there's endless studies upon studies showing like women regret casual sex. It's fucking them up. Female misery is just at an all time high in America. And it leads to situations like this where the girl's like, well, I would just rather choose Instagram because you know why? They still think they're delusional. They still think like, I have the chance to get my dream guy. You know, like statistically speaking, let's think, hmm, okay, I'm going to put more dicks in me. Does that raise my value or lower my value? Okay, that lowers my value. Hmm, okay. Uh, every year that I get older as a woman, does that raise my value or lower my value? Hmm, okay, cool. Yeah, um, yeah I'm just going to keep trying to shoot for my dream guy as I get fatter. And <laughs> fatter, older, and fucking refuse to change and become a better person as I progress through life. And that's what you're experiencing right here. Funny enough, the, young, the two young girls who haven't been, like, super jaded by an army of dicks yet are like, no, we would choose a fucking um, a guy over Instagram. 